it's almost scary. It makes for some tedious viewing. Who are the females that spoke out against Nissim and Kai? First of all, this is Sarah. Sarah began chatting to Kai back in 2014. Kai was 19 and Sarah was 14. The pair became friends. Sarah was 16 and first went to visit Kai and Nissim. Due to ongoing issues at her home, Sarah ends up moving in the couple a month later. For the next two years, Sarah would come back and forth to Nissim's home. During this time, Kai began chatting to Billy, who was 18. Billy was invited to his home and soon began appearing in videos, most famously a video in which Kai and Billy kiss. Billy becomes part of a polyamorous relationship with Kai and Anisia. This ends bitterly in 2017, when Anisia confesses he massaged Billy's breasts and buttocks, leading to a temporary breakup between him and Kai and some good video content. Sarah returns to the Anisia's home for the Christmas holidays. Sarah is now 18 and this is she has sex with Kai and Anisia. Anisio wants Sarah to sign a non-disclosure agreement to prevent her speaking out about the relationship, and she does. She also makes a video for Anision, assuring viewers nothing happened when she was a minor. She later alleges she was coerced to do this. July 2019, Sarah visits Anision and has sex with him whilst Kai is away visiting family. When Sarah starts to speak out about her time with Anision and Kai, he responds by criticising Sarah's behaviour, her BPD disorder, and accuses Sarah of R-A-P-I-N-G, the couple. However, people began to question if the couple were grooming Sarah. It would be Skye, Anisian's ex-wife, Shiloh and Billy who would all come out to support Sarah and share their experiences with Anisian to Chris Hansen, casting suspicion over Anisian and Kai. Anisian has spent years building his channel. He's generated quite the income and fan base from being a YouTube celebrity. But with any business, and one which leads to increased visibility, you have rules to follow. I'd like to say morals, but in this instance I think Anisian is more focused on monetary gain, so his content and behaviour is moderated to keep that income coming in. As with his husband Kai, who has his own channel, the content is manipulated to keep revenue. Every YouTuber knows interacting with your fans is essential to keep the fan base strong. 